Got a worm in that nut. Or in the shell. Got some big nuts here. but not too bad. I'll probably put my gloves on here in a minute. After I gain about two. We're about 325 feet. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. A little hazy, cold. Go ahead and uh, put my gloves on. I've got a heated jacket on. Uh, I don't have it turned on. I'll let it uh, seem like it is for now. If I get my left club out, pull my right club out. I'll put left on first, and then we'll work on the, the other one. About 560 feet. It's about 32 miles an hour. Trim is just about all the way in. It's a little rocket coming over these hills. Wind's coming out of the west, southwest. It's uh, Monday, so a couple days before Christmas. Uh, David went flying yesterday. He said it was real nice. And uh, I had a lot of things going on. But I probably would have gone out at about 300 feet off the ground. I'm flying over in my neighborhood area. My daughter's house below, back behind me to the left. It'd be nice to come out here uh, towards the evening time when the Christmas lights are lit up. That'd be pretty cool. About 435 feet. About 28, 29 miles an hour. Way out in the distance is uh, Coatesville. And I thought they shut that plant down. Or uh, one of the uh, one uh, side of it uh, may be uh, where they're making ethanol fuel. The other was coal. Uh, but uh, anyway, keeps coal in business for now. If that's the plant's running, they were going to convert them over to natural gas. Tomorrow might be a nice day to fly too. It's supposed to get uh, around 50. Start at 50. See some snow on the ground over here where the shade is uh, blocked off the sun. I don't know if you can see it or not. Head uh, in the shade up here. We've had snow and it's just last couple days the sun picked up and melted some of this. There's the snow down there. Not very much. Get my bearings and figure out where I'm at. I normally don't fly over here, so, uh, and of course it all looks different uh, when the trees are lost their leaves and uh, so forth. Actually, I see more houses and uh, more outbuildings. Didn't know all this was out here. About 630 feet. Head towards New Concord in south now at about 26 miles an hour. Getting some altitude as we go over all these trees. I still have a a lot of field underneath me, but uh, just to be sure, been flying for about 20 minutes, and uh, we're about 650 feet, doing about uh, 25 miles an hour, following uh, this uh, road below us going south, 
it's towards New Concord, which is about uh, five miles from here. We're doing okay on fuel. I don't know if the golf course is shut down for the year or not. The uh, nice day to, to golf. I see a golf cart out there. All right, 540 feet. Toes are warm. Legs are okay. We're going to start heading back towards the LZ and been flying for about 30 minutes. We're going to kind of pick our way through these this direction here and uh, try to follow the fields that are open. Get a little bit of lift. All these hills here, a little bit of bounce, but now we're about uh, 557 feet. Got the uh, Pretty much uh, have an idea where the runway is, right off there to the right. So we're not that far from there. We're about uh, two miles from the runway. I was thinking about pulling out my uh, heated gloves today, but it's uh, not that bad. Actually, they're liners, and uh, they work so-so. Uh, they're real thin. Uh, the wind gets through them. So uh, if you put a pair of uh, latex gloves underneath or over them or something, It'll keep the wind, uh, which helps. This jacket uh, is a heated jacket. I don't even have it turned on. It's uh, pretty thick. It's a uh, DeWalt heated jacket. A big aircraft flying above me. Way up there. Big airliner. And there's the runway over to the right. cruise around a little bit. Still, been flying for about 35 minutes. Pretty much flying into the wind. Uh, but we're doing 22 miles an hour. You can see the wind or the uh, steam or smoke coming off that stack out there. Now, the area that I took off today uh, is right over by my house, and uh, I'm afraid it's going to be really wet and swampy because it's a real low area, but uh, it's not too bad. It was a little wet, uh, but uh, not bad. Pretty day. Absolutely beautiful day. Of course, it doesn't beat out a t-shirt weather day, but it is a beautiful day. Been out doing a lot of work uh, around the house that uh, I've been needing to do. Uh, when it was too hot, couldn't really do it, so I'm oh, getting up a little bit of bounce here. Quite a bit of bounce. But, uh, Cutting a lot of trees, loading them up with the tractor and putting them on piles and burning them, clearing out some area, clearing out some land. We're going to see if you cut any wires down here. We've got a big front yard, They're a great place to land. That'd be a good place to land and take off. Yeah, 
Okay. Runway straight ahead out there by that white truck. Okay, it's time to put her down. Been flying for 52 minutes. So if we get down on the ground and everything, it'll probably be about an hour. There's the runway, right straight ahead past that pond. Getting some lift coming up over this hill. Like it's just laying there, pretty flat. Let's see what kind of water we have down here. Where it's at? See some right there. Or we stay close to the truck, we're okay. Flying around. I just don't want to go down. I want to stay up all day. Just a beautiful, beautiful flight. Nice and smooth. Just tracking real nice. Just don't want to land. Probably driving the neighbors crazy. Okay, you got to go down sooner or later. Here we go. <laughs> took out my windsock. Yay!